All right, guys. So the results are in, and this is the best budget setup ever. Is it? Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new bundle kit from HackRC. Now I got this from Banggood. It was like 75 bucks. And what you get is you get four ESCs, Beal Holly 32, rated up to 5S at 35 amps, which is pretty good. And you also get a HackRC all-in-one flight controller, which has all the features you really want. It's an F4 flight controller, OSD, current sensing, SD card expansion, just everything you kind of really want and need. So that's pretty nice. So you get all of this here for 75 bucks and they do provide you with the XT60 connector and some wires. If you didn't want to solder, you can connect them, use the connectors down here. So you can do as you like. Now, what I really like about this is the camera wire. They have one prepared for you, which goes, you know, not everybody has the same camera, but if you're using like a run cam or a Fox here, uh, this will be perfect for you. You don't have to solder anything. So that's very nice to see here. I really like that. That's the only thing really here. Now, let's go ahead and just quickly talk about the Hack RC. Now, Hack RC is a hit and miss product, usually. Uh, there were the best, now there's the second best budget ESCs. I don't remember if it was these or a different brand, I mean, different model. I'll have to double check that towards the end of the video. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna stick all these together uh, as the bundle comes, and we're gonna stick it up on our testing rig, which is complete setup, four motors, ESC, I mean, obviously these are ESCs, four motors, VTX, FPV camera, oscilloscope listening, FPV video recording, and uh, just seeing how well this, is, this thing is gonna perform. So first of all, what I'd like to take note of here is uh, the orientation is absolutely correct. The battery goes in the back. Uh, some people don't like the battery going in the back, but if you follow the arrow here, it's pointing forward. And um, the beta fly orientation is basically perfect here because if this is pointing forward, this is motor one, correct? Two, three, and four, perfect. You got your, SD, you have your, uh, what is it? Your USB up on the left. And the SD card is actually accessible. It's on the it's on the right side, so that's very nice to see. Um, it also does have OSD, and um, it just seems pretty minimal. It also has these little pinouts here, female pinouts. Uh, just because they have a 4-in-1 ESC, I don't remember if I picked one up or not, but they would just connect here kind of like the Dal RC engine. So that's very nice, I guess. So right now I'm going to set these guys up on our testing setup. Like I said, it was a VTX camera, um, VTX camera, the motors, just the whole setup and listening on the oscilloscope and watch well, at the same time recording the FPV video feed. So enough talking, I'm going to start preparing everything and let's just start testing. Alright guys, so the results are in, and this is the best budget setup ever, is it? Well, uh, I think it is actually, this is this is insane, I came in to see something of, I don't know, like the solo good or some Emacs bullet action going on here in no terms of noise, but believe it or not, it's DYS ARIA status, like level, which is pretty damn good this is in the top three even though it's a cheap budget set 75 bucks for four escs that perform this well with the flight controller itself which is an f4 sd card expansion osd um and they give you the xt60 connector even maytech doesn't give you the xt60 connector and i've been bitching about that since they ever really since ever so this is pretty good this is very good so let's get started 
All right, so up top we have the throttle noise levels. We start off 10% throttle just to warm up the motor, 25, 50%, 75%, 100% throttle. And both of these are exactly the same. One is just a colored version. And on the bottom is simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. So when I had the goggles on and I was running the test, I was I was surprised. I was amazed, actually. I was like, wow. Uh, but I didn't really know until I came here and I started looking at the data and watching the videos. And um, I'm impressed. So let's start comparing to get a better idea instead of just looking at this and not knowing what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and bring in the DYS Aria throttle. I Basically identical like literally identical. Okay, this one has a little bit of a higher voltage spike right there, but that's fine. This is just a throttle level, just to get an idea of what's really going on on a perfect scenario. No problem there. Let's check out the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. So right here is the DYS Aria, and this is the Hack RC bundle, like the complete setup. They're basically identical, identical, almost identical. The DYS Aria does slightly better, as you can tell right here. And then you can see here, this is a lot thicker here. Um, but that's not really to be a, that's not really a big concern at all because this is this is the type of quadcopter where you can just get away with putting one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor or if your quad is well tuned you might not even need a low ESR capacitor which is insane the motors did sound smooth not as smooth as Tico but as smooth as the DYS Aria which it's speaking for itself the data here is speaking for itself i am truly amazed i mean my jaw dropped when i saw this this, this result here which is just crazy so i mean let's compare it with i don't know uh let's go with the tico 32 escs no you know what let's do the fly color x cross because those escs are pretty damn expensive and let's just get an idea can you see this Four Flycolor X Cross ESCs cost 90% of what this whole kit costs. That that's what I'm trying to get at here. And it's performing better than the Flycolor X Cross, which is ridiculous. This is crazy. Um they're rated up to 5S, they're pretty small, it's a light setup, and you have all the features. You have a LED, you don't have current sensor, I think. Yeah, you just don't have a current sensor in it. Neither I think does the X Cross, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember. But anyways, it outperforms the Flycolor X Cross, which is a lot more expensive, obviously. Let's jump. Let's just take another look at the throttle. They're about the same on the throttle here, so that's totally fine. But simulator aggressive flight maneuvers is where this uh, outperforms, and this is what you really want to see. This is this is the area what you want to concentrate on, right here. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in the Tico Thirty Two because it's obviously the best ESC, and uh, let's just take a look at the noise. Here we go. So obviously this is the best, you can't really compare these two, but just to get an idea of what the best looks like. And uh, there you go, this is still performing very well, even though it doesn't look like it is, but it actually is in the top three now. I think it really, I think it pushed down the DYS Aria, to be honest, to four, rank four, this whole setup. That's crazy, that's really crazy, man. I told you, Hack RC is a hit and miss, and this is an absolute fucking hit, no joke um what else do we have here let's take a look at the dal rc engine setup uh the stack there we go this no, no not the stack there we go the yeah, dal rc engine let's take a look at the noise here <sighs> it's performing just as good if not tiny well let's take a look here you get a little bit larger voltage spikes with the dal rc engine and um towards the end here if you could tell the hack rc did slightly better these are still both good results but the hack RC is better. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this world? Um, why are they charging us so much for something that, you know, if you're just well made for super cheap, can outperform a lot of things? Now, obviously, the MOSFETs here are going to be a little bit less weaker, but I mean, you know, I'm pounding the living shit out of these ESCs with the Emacs 2306 2400KV. Which is the new, you know, what is it? The, the new trend. Everyone's 2306. Now everyone's going to start dropping down 2207s. And lately I've been finding that I like BL Heli SESCs more for some reason. We'll get into that topic later on. But what I'm trying to get at is this result is by far a slap in the face for me. Because I did not expect this. I thought it would perform, I don't know like the x-cross or worse than the x-cross not saying that the x-cross is bad either but this makes the x-cross looks bad it really does it really really does i mean this is just crazy it's performing as good as dys aria which was basically the second best esc and now it's got pushed down to what third or fourth 
fourth ESC now maybe. I still have a couple more I want to show you guys, but later on. But this one I just I just came in the morning. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna test this. What the hell? Let's just do it. Okay, we'll we'll wait with the other I got a bunch of airbot ESCs on the way too also. So we'll be checking those also. But at the current moment of time, um even if there is better, this is still very, very good. Um in, in terms of noise, you know, even if something else comes out that's a little bit better, it's it's just a bit uh, this is above average, way above average. This is in the top tier right here. I'm just lost for words. This is crazy. I, I didn't even expect this at all. I mean, look, look. I mean, check this out. I was like, okay, wait, what the hell? It's like DYS Aria status. And I wanted to double check because obviously I can't remember this by, by just like a picture. I can't remember picture perfectly, but look at this. And I might say that's it, actually running a little bit smoother, to be honest. Um... Because, you know, for example, let me explain this to you. If you take a look at the device Aria, check this out. You see these? This is this is kind of weird. Like, you really don't know what the hell this is. This is this is kind of something. What happens, now listen to this. This is very important. This is what happens if you don't ground one or two ESCs. The signal of the ESC. It's actually very fucking important. Like, really important. It creates some weird things in your quadcopter. And, um... Yeah, this is a complete go for, and uh, I'm going to be building this right away with something awesome. I'm going to do a budget build because now seeing this data should prove in real life that this thing is going to perform spectacular. And um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. The results right in front of you, you can see them for yourself. Um, but I also have another thing, guys. I'm planning on starting a forum, a dedicated forum for everything quadcopters escs i'll put my results there people can share their information share their experiences and um hopefully it'll grow to something very nice some some place where it's very very um what is it concentrated because all the other forums are basically all over like rc groups it's a beautiful forum but that thing is so huge like i'm not gonna go through three thousand pages to to read everybody's stuff you know I want something in a specific detailed and um, I think that's what I'm going to be doing and I want your guys' feedback obviously in the beginning it's not going to have much data but I will be there and I'll get some people also who have some knowledge to help throughout the forum and um, basically make it for the community I mean I'm, I'm really interested to see how well that'll play out if anyone has an issue uh, they can go there instead of you know going from video to video leaving comments hoping that someone's going to reply to them we'll have some kind of dedicated you know people also and some mods and stuff uh, and if you guys are interested in that please email me I, I really want to get started but I just want to see what you guys if you guys are up to it because it's going to cost a lot of money to get a server get the domain I mean the domain is cheap it's like 20 bucks but get a, get a high a pretty good server uh, because you guys bring a lot of traffic usually I've had the, my or, original website take down a couple times because servers couldn't handle it had to upgrade like twice uh so yeah we're gonna need a dedicated server and um yeah i think i think it'll be pretty cool i'll put all these results like all the pictures all the data the fpv files so it's gonna lead a large hard drive so you can actually go and see the raw video feed that i had recorded instead of just through the edited youtube video so you can like you know save it and compare later on with other things and then you know yeah it's pretty fun i mean i have a lot i'm saving a lot of, i have so much data on this that it's just crazy i'm just trying to figure out a way to post it somewhere and um it's kind of i just i want it to be very clean and just uh to the point that's the whole idea here but overall back to the point hack rc is so far from the bench testing here is a complete go now real world testing i will be flying very soon again next week and uh this will be on a build and i still have to do my ultimate freestyle build uh made in also i haven't even flown it yet and uh some other things to fly also but um yeah this one it's a go it's very nice it's very beautiful just take one low ASR capacitor and it'll tigo 32 status up in this bitch <laughs> so it's very nice to see and that's gonna include it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it this was a complete surprise to me and um yeah consider joining my patreon it'll really really support this channel and i will see you next time see you guys take care